Hello everyone welcome to this video where we are going to recreate this lower third in vMix GT title designer. This lower third was previously used in a tutorial on how to add Bible verses into vMix and some people requested that we do a video on how to create the two graphics in vMix GT title designer. Just in case you didn't see that tutorial, check for a link in the description. This is part one of a two-part series. In this video we will talk about the lower third version of the graphic and in the last part we will look at how to create the full screen version. For you to create this graphic, you need vMix installed on your machine. You can install a 60-day trial version of vMix, a link is provided in the description. You also need to download the hands holding Bible image to be used. The link is also added in the description. Lastly, you need to install the font Montserrat and you can also download it using the link in the description. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel please don't hesitate, do it now. Having that out of the way, let's dive right in. First of all, we will use the screenshot from the previous lower third to serve as a guide in this tutorial. We are saving the guide as sample. Now let us open a new project. We are creating this lower third in full HD. Now let us load the sample file. We will create a rectangle as our verse background. By default, it comes with a red fill but we have to change the background to a gradient as shown in our sample. Now we have to create the chapter reference background. For this, we have to duplicate the verse background, resize it and move it to the top. Then we have to change the color to white. Now let's save our project. Now let's import the image background into the project. Let's move it and resize until it looks OK. Let us reduce the opacity to around 26%. Of course we will refine it later once we have the text in place. Let us organize our project by renaming the layers. We have to create a mask that controls which objects should appear within the main bar area. This will be done by duplicating the main bar and reducing its opacity to zero and moving it to the bottom of the hierarchy. Now we have masked the image background to the main mask. This means the image will be visible only within the main mask area. We have to make the image hidden. This helps in having less layers in vMix, layers that won't be changing in vMix. We have to add the verse reference now.
we are using the Montserrat font, bold. We have to format all characters as uppercase. We need the verse reference to be in all caps at all times. We have to resize the verse reference. We have to create the verse body. We will do this by duplicating the reference, moving it into the main bar area, changing the color to white and resizing the text area. We have to copy the verse into the VMix GT title designer. Remember to disable the all caps feature unless you want the verse body to be in all caps as well. We are almost done with the designing, we have to animate the graphic now. There are so many transitions in VMix GT Title Designer but we are going to use two, Transition In and Transition Out. We will start with transition in. Mostly, I use cubic easing in on the transition in. You can experiment and find your favorite animation. We have to create the yellow layer that moves across as a transition. We are duplicating the main bar, changing its color, position and duration. We have to create a mask for the upper part. As said before, I always reduce the opacity for masks to zero and move it below the layers.
Now we have to set up the reference bar to resize according to the number of the reference characters. It is found under Format. We have to add more space on the left and top. For it to work, the text box for the reference has to change according the number of characters as well. This will be achieved by changing it to width under text menu. We now have to refine the white spaces. We have not yet animated the background image, it's time we have to do it. We now have to animate out. Mostly, I use cubic easing in out on the transition out. You can experiment and find your favorite animation as well. Thanks for watching remember to subscribe to the channel.